In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Consensus AI. So this is a similar AI software to something like SciSpace or Elicit that I've talked about on this channel before, but it may be a better one for your specific needs. And if you're interested in a comparison between any of those, let me know in a comment down below. Essentially what it allows you to do is ask a research question and then it's going to find articles relevant to your research question and um, it can give you some summaries and things like that. Consensus already has paid plans available. There are free features and you can use it as a free tool, but there are going to be things limited to those paid plans. Um, so I just kind of want to let you know what's available for free here. So if you come in here, you can ask a research question and it even says down here that the best way to use it is to ask some form of question. So you can ask about the relationship between concepts, ask a simple yes or no question, ask about the effects of a concept. So I'm going to ask what I typically do when I uh, like compare these different tools. Um, how are steroids separated using ion mobility spectrometry? And ended in a question mark. And then I'm gonna go ahead and search here. And to clarify, this is on a free account. So anything you're seeing here, currently you can do for free. That can always change later on. So you can see that certain things cost credits. So you can see right now on a free account, I have 20 credits left and it renews on every, at the end of every month and you can upgrade to get unlimited credits. So what's nice and what I really like is that they very clearly show what is going to charge your account in the credits. So dropping this down to any study snapshot is going to decrease the credits that you have and synthesizing from here is going to decrease the credits that you have available. So just to make sure that you are aware of that. You can filter. Um, so you can see filtering by study types. Again, that symbol there means that this is going to to use up credits, it is a premium feature. But if that's important to you, you can you know, get on a pay plan or use the credits available to you. You can filter by study details here, and then you can even filter by journals using the SJR quartile rating um, and by domain. So this would be your different um, fields essentially. I think the most common one that you would probably use is filtering by studies. So if you wanted to filter by anything published, let's say after 2010, um, so this is published since, so if I apply that, I assume that it's probably not going to give me that much different because a lot of these tend to be more recent fields. So this is giving me several different options here. So we have performance uh, enhancement in the measurement of five endogenous steroids. So this is telling me that it uses differential IM mobility, provides an additional degree of separation prior to tandem mass spec detection, improving specificity of steroid analysis. So this is going to be kind of the answer from this paper for the question that I asked. So it gives us a good number. It looks like it gives us about 10 is what I would say, different papers that we could use. You can also see for each one of these, it tells us the journal it was published in, the authors, this is a short 10 version of the authors, um, the citation, number of citation it has, and then the year it was published. So you can kind of see that really simply. You can save this to your own library. You can also cite it. So you can just cite the bib text here if you're trying to paste into Zotero or Jenny AI, Yomu, any of that, you can just use the um, bib text here or you can pull the citations for APA, MLA, Chicago or Harvard there um, and copy that text. And then you can share. So you can copy a link to the paper and or you can copy the text specifically or you can just share it to Twitter if that's where you wanna share it from. So that's what you can do for individual papers from this. You can also save the search or create a link to this search so that if someone else is interested in it, they can you can just send them the link and then they can come and analyze it from here. Or you can share it. So this is just being able to copy that link again or copy the text or again, send it to X or Twitter if you would like to do that. Now, the other thing that's really nice about Consensus is they have not made their export CSV premium yet. So if I click export CSV from a free account, I can still export out that CSV. Their CSV does include the bibliographic information plus the abstract and the takeaway. 
So this sentence right here tends to get um, added as well into the CSV, which I really like. As of now, both Illicit and SciSpace has made their export CSV premium. So if you are looking to do that, this may be a good option or alternative for right now. They can always change this in the future um, as well. So if we look into what is the accuracy specifically of these um, sentences here. So you can see this one is um, accurate. I kind of went over that one earlier. Steroids are separated using FAMES combined with liquid chromatography for rapid analysis of glucuronid sulfate and uh, metabolites in urine. So this is accurate. And from what I'm, what I'm also looking at is could I have gotten this answer from the title? So with this, we do see it says steroid metabolites, but it doesn't, it specifies more here. And this is probably pulling all this information from the abstract. If we look at this one, eye mobility provides a new separation dimension and novel characterization parameter, a collision cross section for steroid profiling. That's true. Again, this is one that I could have gotten all of that information from the title, but I also don't know if there's a lot more to share there. They're really just sharing out they made a database for steroids. So I think that that's fair. Comprehensive steroid assay with non-targeted analysis using liquid chromatography, eye mobility spectrometry. So we're saying, they're saying steroids are separated based on retention time, M over Z, and drift time. Yes, this is not in the title, but this is kind of how all of these um, analyses are able to separate out steroids. So it's not giving anything more specific. This one here is giving something way more specific. So steroid epimers, androsterone and transandrosterone have separated, are separated using eye mobility mass spectrometry by analyzing their relative mobilities with baseline separation observed for the sodiated dimer species. That is accurate to what this paper did and I think really well shares kind of the takeaway of that paper. This one here is a review. So um, this is a good sentence analyzing the review, but doesn't really help with that overall question. And then eye mobility TWIMS MS provides a reliable, fast, repeatable method for separation to separate derivative steroid isomers with peak to peak resolutions close to or as high as baseline resolution. So with this one, I would have liked them to share what the derivatization agent that was tested in this. They actually, so Consensus has a chat GPT bot that you can use, and I'll leave that link below as well. They actually, whenever they shared this in a previous video I did, they actually pulled the actual derivatization agent in the chat GPT bot um, there. So coming down. I'm not going to go through all of these, but overall, I would say this is giving an accurate takeaway, even though it's a little less informative than I would particularly like. But if you really want that, I totally understand them making you use the study snapshot and having AI credits. Even using something like a GPT, it's not necessarily cheap. I don't know specifically if they're using GPT as their backend engine, but Unless you're creating your own, it's not really cheap to run all of these AI commands. So it makes sense that all of these softwares have to move to a premium version at some point because they are losing money the more that you use it and no one is paying for it essentially. So that does all make sense. I do like that we can at least export out the information from these articles on the free plan. I think losing that on a free plan really limits your the usefulness of you know being able to create all of these that's great but then i have to manually move each one out um and move the information of that out i think having that export csv is going to be really helpful for a lot of people now you don't get the paragraph that you get in illicit and in SciSpace. that is what this synthesize up here is for if you really use that paragraph, I don't tend to use that paragraph much because I'd much rather learn it directly from the articles it's telling me is relevant than learning it from an AI generated thing that could be correct, could not be correct, could not have a lot of useful information in it. I don't know, I'm not gonna test the paid features on this. I just wanna show you what's available for free. I hope this gives you a good idea of what you can do with consensus and be able to um, answer certain research questions and be able to quickly get Really, it's a search with a little bit more information with that search 
uh, using AI. Really consensus is an alternative to a search engine with the ability to get a little bit more information from the articles in that search um, rather than just getting kind of their title and bibliographic information. I hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.